One question we have had come in um, from the listeners, actually. Uh, very quick shout out to Will. So Will, Will. Pollard, Will Pollard and the team at Phonic FM in Exeter. He says now that uh, the BBC Three coverage has gone down, well, gone online. What's the what's the situation with the big bleh, the big weekend coverage? Uh, well, it will still be online. I think he means now that. Um, would will will BBC TV? Three still be covering it, or will it be another BBC t- TV channel? Listen, was the name Will? Yeah, Will. You're asking the wrong person, mate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I show up. I show up to work. Right. I show up to work. I push a few buttons. I go home. All right. In terms of the technical side of things, look. Someone's had to scribble it down on a bit of paper so that I sound like I know what I'm talking about. It will be on TV. Plans will be announced soon, Will, which you might seem uh, find a little bit too vague. Uh, but no, it, it's going to be on TV. We'll tell you when soon. Ooh. And I knew that information all along. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's great, isn't it? Don't you think that's pretty? Well, that's a pretty wonderful answer. <laughs> yes, at least he's honest. <laughs> he's very honest. He's a very straightforward person. I think he may be in the Phoenix during May. Oh, well, he must come and say hello. So, he we, might, we, he we, around. Well, he may, he may be, maybe when you're in the states, John. Oh, I don't know, but but anyway, look, we can tweet to him in the meantime. Yeah, and we can send him a link to this show. Right, and I can try and explain myself a bit more. Yeah, because the actual conversation or interview asking somebody in a studio a direct question and they have to find the answer somewhere else or it's not their job to answer that question or whatever you know I mean Mm. that doesn't work really but if you've got a few weeks to clarify what your concern was and then other people can join in because um, I have I have I have tweeted to him has he tweeted back not directly no no he's I think he's got the broadcast take on Twitter to a certain extent well we shouldn't judge too soon should we no. We'll see if he does conversational twittering as well, mm. which I'm sure he does, or maybe somebody at Seal Hain could um, put the question to him again, okay. somehow. But what it what it is, um, you see, I, I I am interested in what's going to be on on television as we know it on BBC One, Two, or Four. Don't 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 give up, John. Stay stay with I us. I am right. Okay. There's right. no need to tell the whole uh, list. Uh, well, no, sorry. Okay. Anyway, listen. God. Right. All right. Yeah. No, it's not, but I am going into my, one of my extended things now. Go yeah. into your extended. Okay. Thing. I'm not stopping you. Right. Okay. So, what it is? What is happening with FM radio and the internet, and also with television or video and the internet? Because we've 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 uh, speculated that FM is not going to survive in its present form forever. I know you think we're just going back and back. John, the, the, I'm repeating myself of things we said earlier because that's how radio works. You don't just say it once and, and assume that the audience already knows all these things. OK, get on with it. Okay. All right, get on with it. Right, right, right. So... This could happen, this sort of transition could happen through management intelligent decision making or it could happen just through a crisis of some kind uh, which seems much more likely <laughs> because um, is, is somebody going to decide, oh well FM radio, that's not the priority, we should prioritise on other things or uh, something similar with, with television but they seem to have decided to get rid of BBC Three as television for um, budget reasons but it's actually a similar situation to what we've been speculating might happen with radio because it stops being broadcasting and it becomes social media or something like that so BBC Free can do it radio can do it yeah which might be a good thing yes It it might be a good thing so my logic might come true your logic, your logic is very sensible, John. Just remind the audience, if they weren't listening two years ago, what, what you basically had to say. I believe, to cut a long story short, I believe that radio FM signal is slowly dying. And uh, I believe that FM uh, will, uh, um, in, in, t- in 25 years' time, never exist. Uh, will die, event- will die off, and radio will end up online. But um, that's what I said two years ago. So um, I'm just repeating it for those of you who might be listening for the first time. Okay. Back over to William. So... Assuming he's got so much to say about this subject. So what strikes me, the Radio 1 Academy 
you would think would have a view about this sort of thing. I've worked out how to rephrase the question because it's obviously not, not, not Dev's job to explain BBC policy or even when they're going to broadcast on television. But he, he reasonably could advise people what sort of skills they should have. So if you, if you move from radio into a TV studio, are you expecting um, a standard production number with loads and loads of cameras and a total crew, or would you be better off learning how to make your own little videos of interviews as you go along? Wow. Well, who who we knows? don't know. I don't know. No. But he might have a view yeah. on that sort of thing. I think, I think we can ask him that. You should ask him that, then. Uh, but also, I think we should just observe what they do. Indeed. Because when the big weekend happens, uh, some of it will be on television, presumably. Hopefully. Some of it will be on YouTube, though. Because I did listen to his show last Sunday. Uh, well, not all of it. I missed, I missed the start of this bit. But at one point, he had, um, he had a, 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 so, a sort of guest, somebody who was reviewing film. Um, including a Miles Davis film, right. which is, was very interesting. But somehow he had another sort of game going on at the same time. So he had this, this system whereby if, if the film reviewer used certain words that he didn't like, we thought were boring, mm -hmm. he, he had a buzzer. Uh, so I, d I don't know why, why he did that. I think it was just for the benefit of people who found film reviews not interesting enough in themselves. Right. Do you think? Something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, so it didn't really. Well, it sort of sort of worked as a film review, but it was there was a lot of other things going on as well. And then the film reviewer said, um, "If you want the complete film review and other films, uh, I'm on YouTube." Right. So basically, the the radio show was working as an advert for YouTube, where you got the full length stuff. Mm. Now I don't know to what extent radio Radio One or other other lots of radio are going to go the same sort of way. Well, who knows? Anyway, so that's, that's probably enough. Mm. Enough for the moment. But yeah. we've, got, we've, got, we've got a few weeks yet. 